All right, lads. It's big vampire time. Here we go. We'll do standard, not doing hardcore. I learned my lesson trying to do uh, RE2 on hardcore. Didn't go very Long well. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. She didn't try very hard Mother's to catch her. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So what a she drank the kid. thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing Kids a little fucked up, huh? Menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. My favorite part of the story was when the girl who you walked see, into the forest took, thought saw. taking a boat so out of the forest would get her back home. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Damn, that anti-alias thing. Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't yes, hello, have to deal with son. any of that, hello. remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Yes, hello. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. Meh, meh. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Oh no, is this gameplay? I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Like, look, my man's like, so at least a year has gone by. Nothing. I'll and he's still like, yo, remember that really fucked up shit that happened? Let's talk about that. Why even give me the option if nothing's in there? Hello, my son. Relax. There, there. Relax. It's like I said to your mom, that book's too scary for you. Well, maybe the baby's not as much of a bitch as you are, Ethan. Is this your room? Probably not. I had to guess. What you got kicking around in here, though? Mia's medication has been a strict regimen ever since the incident. Fair enough. But ter she's not doing a good job of keeping them in order. All right, what else we got laying around here? Feels like her room's probably there, over honey. here. What you got? Oh, that's a balloon. I thought it was like Slenderman's head. All right, delightful. Kick the ball. I think it got kicked. 
There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Ethan's projecting pretty hard onto the six month old. Tick the ball. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. All right, let's get some snooping on what we got. Uh, February 6th. Me and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. It's been three years. It's been three years. And Ethan, it sounds like on the daily, basically, is like, yo, Louisiana was fucked up, right? We finally settled down in our new life in Europe somewhere in Europe, and can bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. Yeah, it sounds like it, Chief. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? There's a difference between, like, not talking about it constantly and, like, pretending it didn't happen. Should we face what happened there so our, we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? What does that mean? Everybody's dead except you and Mia. Well, and Chris, I guess. Like, what do you what do you mean, dog? What are you gonna do? What about it are you gonna face? It's been three years, dog. We owe her that much, at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Man, Ethan sounds miserable to hang around with. This laptop is filled. Uh, uh, Rosemary Winters, bah, bah, bah. Uh, Results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by the BSAA. Okay. Rose is fine. Rose's favorite toy. Oh, by Kendo? Gun Some survivalist by Kendo. To get you. Uh huh, sure thing, Ethan. You don't sound miserable to be around. <laughs> Yo, oh, that poppin'. Oh, shit. I'm actually gonna... T that, that, I know it's not the first time I noticed that. I'm gonna change some settings real quick. Alright, I, I turned the image quality down slightly. Mm-hmm. I wish it could stay like this forever. These are some delightful photoshopped pictures you've made of your family, Ethan. Do you feel like I'm hearing something? All right, well. Uh, everything's looking good. Well, this is a big house. Let's snoop over here. Yo, we got like a fucking nook over here? Jesus Christ. Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking It's around. not that bad, you pussy. Yo, it's like pitch black out there. By George Trevor. I mean, that name sounds familiar as well. Yeah, Lisa Trevor. Yeah, the the fucking mansion people. Yeah. It's the Tre it's not the Trevor mansion, is it? Whatever. We got here. Curtain closes on the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby ga toxic gas leak in Louisiana. They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the mud rock under the area. Jack Baker, 57, and his family perished, were exposed to the gas, perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. Okay. The entire area has been closed up by officials who believe it'll be at least 10 years before the area is happening. Everyone's forgotten about this already. I think only like four of you know anything that happened, Ethan. Everybody else kind of died. The fuck was that? Like, maybe I just don't get art. But like, what's the point? Anyway. So, this is the front door. Can we go hey, outside? Keep it down. What? Just making sure it's locked. Oh shit, that popped in as well. <laughs> Give me one second. All right. 
I, I, I lowered the settings quite a bit, but I still can't actually tell the difference, so, you know. It's dark out. Yo, like, I keep trying to get... Because I heard cars going by. Trying to get the lay of where we were exactly, but it looks like we're in the fucking void itself. She's asleep. This is definitely just a JPEG. I wasn't expecting that. Is this gonna go on? Is this it? Oh shit. That's a wolf. Uh huh. There he goes. I mean, it's not looping, right? Like, is something actually gonna happen? Okay, I swear I just heard snow getting stepped on. Maybe I'm paranoid. Oh, is it looping now? Look, I'm just waiting to see if I'm going to get rewarded for my patience. If I see that wolf come up again, we're out of here. Oh, shit. What you looking at? Okay. Now, now it's going to loop. <sighs> Fucking... It got me excited with the close-up and then just nothing. Like, look, I think I might be losing my mind, but I swear to God. I mean, what am I expecting to see? There's nothing out there. Oh, what's this? Mm -hmm. Mom got you another new book? Dog. That cost like three dollars tops. Oh, yeah. No, nope, not a puzzle. Can't unscrew Three the back. Ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. Wait, what is that? That's a window, isn't it? Y'all saw that, right? There was like a red light? Hmm. Was it a reflection? Hmm. Eh, uh, I guess it's a reflection. It's just like... A really vivid red dot. Whatever. Jazz albums, I see. Alright, well, that was a productive evening. Is she okay? Sleeping like, uh... Well, like a baby. Hmm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've got Really, that's how you spell it, huh? Mm -hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here. Military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened Oh my god, Ethan. It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- I fucking knew it! Mia, get down! Mia! Damn, that's a lot of them, actually. Holy shit. Mm. I think you got him, boys. Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! 
<laughs> she was still alive? What? Why? I fucking knew there was someone outside. I just underestimated how Go many- Go move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Rose. Get him out. Man, Chris's character is really all over the place in this series, dude. So why do they take us to a castle in Romania? Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. No problem. We'll mm. I'm guessing the results weren't very good. They were provided by the BSAA, the right? She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. It sounds like it. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else what matters? matters? We, we matter, matter Ethan. Ethan. You, you matter. matter. You just they put a bit of really. What are you talking about? about? Is there Is something you're not telling me? me? Come on, talk, talk to, to me. me. Damn it! I have to I take have to this. work. So, oh, sorry, I'm in the way. It said work. They put him in a real nice house, right? Like, Chris moved him there? Wow, they put him in, like, a really expensive house. Oh, I see. They don't take us to the, to the, um, castle in Romania. We got, we got fucking, uh, got. Jesus. <laughs> About damn time. What's your stat? Is the package safe? Could be doing better. What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? I like how that opened on the top secret page. You're calling me on a cell phone. This isn't a secure channel. Fuck. That's a, literally a cell phone, dog. What the hell happened to you? Looks like it could be there. Alright, so, like, this is clearly something. Eliminate the target, recover body, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winterses to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Alright, understood. Anything in the back? Can we crouch? Sick. Alright. How's the driver doing? You alive up here, buddy? It's not looking good. I literally can't see through the window. Well, here we go. Well, let's follow the footprints. This seems safe. Probably the wind. Hmm. Can you maybe hold the flashlight a little higher, Ethan? I feel like if I want to see ahead, I have to, like, crane so you'll actually move the flashlight up. Yeah, that's the wind if ever I've heard it. Yeah, I already figured that out. It's okay. God damn it, Ethan. Can you do anything right? Jesus Christ. Ah, 
Ah, it's probably the wind still. Don't worry about it. Uh, feathers? Hmm. Oh, that explains the feathers. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the wind. That's definitely the wind. Hmm. What you got against the Corvid stock? Oh, shit. Yo, look at the feathers on that. Yo, those are some good-looking feathers, dog. Damn. Oh, Jesus, coming through, coming through. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Oh, Jesus. Untie it? No? Just gonna leave it? Alright, fine. Could have at least untied it, you asshole. Yeah, it's still the wind, dog. Don't worry about it. Man, the wind's pretty fierce tonight. Hmm. Water? Oh, even the fish could be doing better, huh? Damn, this place sucks. Oh, a house. Hello? That was really tempting fate, wasn't it? To just press my face right up against the window. Hmm. Hmm. Can't see shit, all right. This black this bag looks really out of place. Oh fuck that poppin' shit. Hold on one second again. It's gonna stop popping in eventually. Alright, I'm not lowering it again. If it pops in again, we're just gonna live with it, alright? Because it's not that bad. Alright. I I thought that was something, but I guess it's just some rope around some brushes, huh? That toothbrush, though? Spotless. Fucking pristine. Nope, can't see shit. It's dark out. Oh, shit. Drugs? What we got? Alright. Damn, bitch. You live like this? It's gonna sound really fucking weird, but this, like, this specific white plastic chair really took me back. Hmm. They're, like, everywhere in England. What does that say? Uh, oh, that, that pop-in was pretty bad. Alright, I'm gonna turn the ray tracing off. That's probably what's doing it, right? <laughs> Alright. that That's, like, probably what was doing it. And I still can't see the difference. So, it's okay. Uh, I thought it was, like, an actual deer head. Which, I mean, it is. But y you know what I mean. Oh, fuck. That, the owl eyes in the dark kind of spooked me a little, actually. God, Ethan, I wish you would hold the fucking flashlight up. That banana's seen better days. Oh, the garlic. I feel like it's not gonna do much about the wolf situation we got. Hmm. Oh, it was that. Okay, I just saw, like, the light and thought it was eyes. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's delightful. It kind of looks like 
Balder from uh, Bayonetta. You know, the the mask air, the mask thing he's got going on, like the halo. Robes kind of kind of reminds me of Balder. Wait, there's there's like scratches on it. Uh, no, they're just scratches. I wasn't sure if it was like a number or something. Those plants have been waiting to do that all night. Oh, hello. That's delightful looking, yeah. What do you think that means? It's got to be like uh, an embryo, right? Ah, uh, whatever. Hmm, trash. Alright, here we go, boys. It's time. Oh, it was just the wind. See, I told you. Ah. We're going to turn around now. Wow, oh, oh, that went so much better than expected. Oh, shit. Sounds like some thick bitch just ran through upstairs. Oh shit. Oh, it's, it's... She's got chickens. Alright. Who's out here? Wait. The same one. Oh yeah, it fell downstairs. Oh. Okay. Look. I'm not saying this fox statue is haunted, but this fox statue is definitely haunted. The moose head's down there, the owl is over, the fox has just moved a little bit closer. Well, that's just fucking inconsiderate, isn't it? God damn. Yeah, there was kind of a lot of blood on the floor. Wait, is it day now? What did all this? That book looked really... No, that book looked stood out so much. Yo, it's just day now? Yo, what the fuck? It was like pitch black. All right, there was no hint of the sun rising. We were in here for like five minutes. Anything get disturbed? Like anything laying around now? Well, you sure did a number over here, didn't you, Chief? All right. Close that, don't want to be rude. Okay, well. I'm wondering how he got like into the house, really. Hmm. Oh. I tried to jump. Space is blocked, apparently. Can I run? Oh, now we're talking. Now we're moving. Where the hell am I? Yo, that looks good. Oh, shit, there's a windmill. Oh, fuck. Yo. I remember playing games on the NES. Look how far we've come. Future's crazy. 